Hi, it's David from Life with Parkinson's, and I'm back here with Esther. Thank you for, again for coming on. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. And we're here just doing a 14-day checkup on how things are going with the bill and bone. And the first thing, before we get into your results, I was hoping you could just talk a little bit about your preconceptions or your worries or your thoughts ahead of time when you started this trial. Yeah, uh, sure. So honestly, I had really low expectations for this. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, somebody had mentioned this to me, uh, this particular product a while ago, and um, I had pretty much dismissed it. Uh, so I was not really expecting yeah. anything. If anything, I was probably skept skeptical. I'm a very skeptical person by nature. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. So well, and I wanted to talk about that because I've heard that from a lot of people over the months. Like, they'll come on the channel and they'll look at stuff and they'll be like, well, I'm not so sure about that. So it's it's a common thing. So what what do you recommend to people that are feeling like a little bit skeptical skeptical about the villain ball? I think it's just important to keep an open mind in general about the mind. <laughs> yeah. Because even though I'm a very scientifically minded person, there's just a lot that we don't understand. And there is science behind a lot of these things yeah. that, you know, just because uh, maybe we don't have like years and years of trials of thousands of people doing something doesn't mm -hmm. mean that it, it hasn't been shown to be effective. And uh, for me, especially with Parkinson's, it's like, I'll try anything once. Yeah, I'm just yeah, a lot too. more more open-minded as a person. Yeah. And uh, like well, at this point, it's, what do we have to lose? As long as it's not something that's going to harm us or break the bank, then I'm, I'm down to try anything. And that's just kind of, I think, part of having a chronic disease is like the whole carpe diem, you only live once, yeah. like, let's just do stuff and see what happens type of philosophy that I've embraced more. So, Yeah, I kind of agree with you. I really appreciate your answer. Because I kind of view Parkinson's as almost like a, a declining neurodegenerative disease, at which I'm willing to try anything to help, anything at all to improve my symptoms just a little bit, just to, just to enjoy a couple more days. I want people to make an informed decision, a good decision for themselves. And that's why I appreciate your input. Yeah, definitely. So what kind of results have you been having so far? So as I mentioned in the first video, I noticed right away that there's just like a general relaxing effect of the ball itself, the vibration, you know, how it travels up on my, my arm. And I'd kind of like to elaborate on that a little bit okay. now that, you know, I have had time doing this every day now for a couple of weeks. One thing that I have noticed is my life is very busy. You know, I'm a mom and I'm got a lot of stuff going on in my life and yeah. so just to take the the 10 minutes three times a day to sit down and do something for myself yeah. in and of itself i feel like is very beneficial i mean i can do i can't do things when i'm doing the ball like i can watch tv or something like that but i can't be like doing it and doing dishes or doing it and okay. doing laundry so it it does force me to sort of take just those few minutes to myself and mm -hmm. i i i realize how infrequently i actually do that you know mm -hmm. so i've i've thought immediately i i noticed the benefit of that secondly when I wake up in the morning, and again, everybody is different, but for me, when I wake up in the morning is when I'm the most tremory. Yeah. And I hate that because there's that gap in time between when I uh, wake up and when my medication kicks in. And I still, like for me, now my kids just started back to school. I need to get up and I need to make breakfast and things like that. And so that period of time is very challenging for me. What I found is if I wake up and I use the ball right when I wake up, it gives, it reduces my tremor for that period of time between when I wake up and when my medication kicks in. Mm -hmm. um, whereas normally I would just like lay in bed and just kind of right. like kill time, you know? That's what, I, that's what I do in the morning. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Take myself then, and just lay back down and put my head on the pillow and just wait. 
Yeah. So what I've been doing is using that time to use the ball. I just have been keeping it on my nightstand in the evening when I go to bed. And so when I reach for my pills, I just reach for the ball too. And I do that. And it, it has relieved my tremor enough during that period to make my mornings a little bit easier. Yeah. So I, I, that's how I've been using it. Um, it's hard to say over the course of the day what the impact is because, of course, I'm medicated the rest of the day, right? right? But I definitely feel like overall, especially for me, and I'm sure for you too, like there's still those those time periods where sometimes your medication doesn't last as long yeah. or for some reason, for me, it has a lot to do with what I eat, just doesn't work for a while. And so even though I'm trying to like get into a routine of using it, I have found myself using it more as what I would consider like, like bridging breakthrough times, you know? Oh, yeah. so, so my um, medication that I take, it takes about 30 minutes to kick in. And so uh, instead of, again, because I get wearing off uh, dyskinesia, instead of just sitting there and just kind of being in the dyskinesia, I'll use the ball. And mm -hmm. it has helped me with that as well for that short period of time. Now, again, I'm not one to be like, this is a cure-all. <laughs> like, yeah. it's like, go, uh, you know, break the bank and, and this is going to solve all your problems. Because as you know, I mean, Parkinson's is just such a, a variable disease in everyone. But I can say that for me, I have seen that consistent improvement over time, especially in those those short off periods that I have. So you, you're not, so what you're saying is it's helping with the tremors in the morning and then the dyskinesia later on in the day. Okay, well that's excellent. You know, for 14 days, uh, this is what what they kind of say with the villain ball is like 14 days is when you start to notice things. Yeah, I have definitely noticed it. And it's, it's, I'm also like, I'm a very inconsistent person. I am very bad about like doing things consistently, mm -hmm. but I can tell you, I have been very, very consistent with this because I have felt the benefit. So, you know, a lot of times it's the same way for me. Like when I go to the gym, I feel so much better after it like builds in kind of that motivation yeah. for me, you know? This is even easier than that. So yeah, I, I, I no, can. It's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm 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 very pleasantly surprised. And well, like you said, you know, with Parkinson's, sometimes you're just looking for like thirty minutes of relief. You yeah. know, it makes a big difference in your day. And um, but yeah, so I appreciate that. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you, Esther. Anything else that you wanted to add? Anything you wanted to take people to take home with them? To, like I said, keep an open mind about things because I think it's easy to lose hope with this disease. Yeah, it is. And um, I think there are a lot of things besides the medication that we can do to buy ourselves these little pockets of time. Uh, mm -hmm. Self-care is really important too and mindset. So yeah. I, I hope that people benefit from this as much as I have. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. I kind of feel that we're almost in an age where science and medication can work together. So, you know, technology can come alongside the medication and give us that little boost. And that's kind of how I see this product. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Thank you very much, Esther. We'll talk to you again at the 30-day mark. Okay, right, sounds good. Bye. Bye.